it's just a lot that I've gone through. And she let me go. And I had a terrible experience with that agency. I feel like there's been so much change that has been happening in the surrogacy industry and community. It didn't end up being a good fit for me. My postpartum recovery was really, really difficult and I got really, really sick. I just burnt myself out because I was doing too much. I got married. Now I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out what's next. What is next for me? What am I gonna do? Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to <laughs> my channel. I feel so awkward right now because I literally haven't uploaded a YouTube video in what feels like forever. And if you guys are new to my channel and you guys just randomly clicked on this video, hi, my name is Harmony. And if you guys are one of my subscribers and you're like, girl, where the heck have you been? I'm gonna give you guys a little life update and kind of just talk to you guys about how I'm feeling just what's been going on in my life the last few months and just give you guys kind of an update on where I've been. Not that anybody probably cares, but if you do, here you go. I feel like I owe it to myself to kind of make this video and just upload it so that I can just move on. Where do I begin? I had a baby in February on Valentine's Day. His name is Nash. He is the best baby ever i love him so much my postpartum recovery was really really difficult not so much mentally but physically i literally felt like my insides were bruised for probably two months like i'm not joking my postpartum recovery was so hard and it was also weird because when i went in for my six week appointment they didn't check me down there which i don't know if that's normal or I don't know I, it's been a long time since I've had a baby so I don't really remember but I feel like the last two times I was a surrogate and then I also have a 10 year old the last two times I feel like they did check me after but I don't know maybe it's just my whack-ass insurance anyway that's a whole different conversation the first three months that I had my baby um, so the end of February March April May I was vlogging so much and I was also doing a lot of TikToks, doing a lot of Instagram reels, a lot of Facebook reels and I was just honestly burning myself out with trying to create content to the point where I wasn't even able to edit the YouTube videos that I had. So I still plan on editing and uploading those videos even though they're a few months old. I don't know why I get in my head about uploading videos that are not current i'm like no that's from march i can't upload that like it's stupid you know so i really want to share those videos with you guys because i love looking back at my life and seeing my growth throughout the years so even if i upload them you know in august if they're from march april may it's fine like i just get in my own head about it i do have vlogs coming if you guys are interested in watching them i do a lot of like lifestyle vlogs but i also try to make videos that can be helpful so i want to film like an updated breastfeeding journey video to help anybody who is going to breastfeed or is currently breastfeeding and just wants you know to hear somebody's experience with it because i feel like i've had a really good experience with it and i want to shed some light on that i also want to do some surrogate video updates because i feel like there's been so much change that has been happening in the surrogacy industry and community in the last five years since i did my journey so i really want to talk about that like there's just so many things i want to talk about and do on my youtube channel that i just have been quite frankly afraid to do i don't know why i just feel like youtube is such a personal platform like if somebody is sitting down watching a 10 to 30 minute video like they're invested if you watch a tiktok that's 10 seconds it's only 10 seconds of your time but you're not going to just give 10 to 30 minutes of your time unless you actually care it's just different youtube is a very different platform than any of the other short form platforms and i know tiktok is trying to be like youtube and push out 10 minute videos which i watch long form content on tiktok all the time 
but it's not like YouTube. Like YouTube is just different. YouTube is my favorite platform. I love listening to podcasts on here. I love watching vlogs. I love workout videos on here. Like there's just so many things you can get from YouTube that you can't get on any other platform. Don't get me wrong, I love short form content, but I prefer to watch and consume long form content on YouTube. I just burnt myself out because I was doing too much. I was postpartum, I have a baby, I have a 10 year old, I have three cats, I have a dog, I have a husband, like, oh, that's another thing, I got married. <laughs> on 6 12 24 another thing like i'm adjusting to being a wife not that i wasn't a wife before because honestly i feel like me and my husband have been married since we got together pretty much like he has always been my husband even before he was my husband but now he's just legally my husband but yeah so we got married and i also do have that vlog as well so i will be sharing that with you guys it's just a lot that i've gone through in the last five months since my son was born and like I said I was just doing too much before I get into kind of like the changes that have been going on in my life at the beginning of last year I was a nanny for my friend who has two kids under two at the time she had two now she has three but I was a nanny for her two kids and in June I had gotten pregnant with my son Nash and I got really, really sick. And I just was not able to keep up with two under two while being so sick from my pregnancy. So in the beginning of January of last year, I had started doing the social media for a small agency. And long story short, it just didn't work out. And she let me go around August of last year. It really, really hurt my ego i'm not gonna lie and this is me being like transparent and just honest if you guys have ever been fired or let go from a job then you know what i'm talking about and it just really hurt my ego and i was just very lost after that and i just didn't know what to do so i pretty much didn't really work or do anything my whole end of my pregnancy besides social media which the money on social media is very inconsistent unless you're signed to an agency and you're getting brand deals consistently, which I have not yet gotten a brand deal, a paid one. I have received a lot of PR, which is great, but PR doesn't pay the bills. You know, it's cool to have free stuff sent to you, but free stuff doesn't pay the bills. It's just been hard because the, the money and the income is inconsistent. I have made decent money between TikTok and Instagram, but it's not anything I can live off of. So a couple months ago, I decided that I was going to try to find a job at a surrogacy agency, which if you guys know anything about me and my journey as a surrogate, you guys know I used to work for the agency that I went through. That was like five years ago. And I had a terrible experience with that agency working for them. And so I was terrified of working for another agency considering, you know, I had the bad experience with the first one, then the second one let me go and I was just nervous. So I got hired at an agency that was female owned and I thought it was going to be a great fit for me and it didn't end up being a good fit for me. It was just really, 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 really low pay and it just wasn't enough for me to be working full-time with a baby and a kid and not making good money so i quit and now i'm just <laughs> trying to figure out what's next what is next for me what am i gonna do and i really really want to just pour my energy into helping women become surrogates because that is something that i'm passionate about and i really truly believe that if you're doing it for the right intentions and you're wanting to help someone achieve a family then surrogacy is right for you but there's people who do it for the wrong reasons like i said i want to talk about it more but i just want to help women avoid agencies that don't have their best interest in mind and only care about one thing and that is the money which is unfortunate but it is what it is like i said i can talk about that all day but 
I just wanted to update you guys. So yeah, I've gotten fired. <laughs> I've had a baby. I got I hired another job. I quit that job. I got married. Like there's so many things that I've done in the last year because it's almost August. So it's been a year since all of these things were happening to me. And I just want to just kind of like get all of that off my chest and just Thank you guys for being here and watching this video. If you guys watch this video, I really appreciate you. If you guys just had a baby or you're about to have a baby and you guys have any questions about things that come with having a baby, let me know and I can make videos. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see vlogs? Do you guys want to see sit down videos like this? Do you guys want to see challenges? Do you guys want to see couple videos let me know what it is that you want to see and i will definitely do it let me know your thoughts let me know how you're doing let me know what's going on in your life thank you for sticking through my absence here on youtube i miss it so much and i don't do youtube for money i do it because i love doing it and I just love having a creative outlet. I love editing. I love sharing my experience with different things that happen in my life. And I just want to thank you guys for giving me a place to just be myself and talk about things that I'm passionate about. Thank you for watching. I love you. Please comment down below what you guys want to see and please let me know how you guys are doing because I would love to hear from you. And I... We'll see you in my next video, even though that video will probably be old, but it's okay. Okay, bye. <laughs>